today I'm showing you how I turned what some person thought was trash into a beautiful piece of home decor. This is the Home Tweet Home Open Collaboration. Welcome to my channel. Here I love creating budget decor through trash to treasure projects, thrifting, upcycling, and crafting. Today's video is a collaboration that's co-hosted by myself, Leah, and Indy Annie Jones. I'm taking this dumpster find that was very rusted, very dirty, and giving it a good scrub down and a fresh coat of paint. I'm using a wire brush and some soap and water was in order because this thing was generally dirty on top of the rust. Then I'm giving it a spray with this beautiful metallic paint I found at Ollie's. And there you go. The bottom tray was almost impossible to get out with all the rust. So I decided I'm just going to leave it out. I spray painted the top side in the silver, the same color as the cage. And for the bottom, I'm actually spray painting it white because I ran out of paint. And it's not going to be shown anyway. I'm going to be using everything from my stash. I'm not purchasing one extra thing for this project. And no, I'm not up doing those birdhouses. They're just sitting on the table for right now. So to start with, I'm going to be building a base of these blue hydrangeas. And you'll see that I'm keeping everything scrunched in within that rectangle. Because when I sit the birdcage down, I don't want to be sitting it on top of flowers. So yeah, I just built up the base with the blue. Tucking flowers here and there. And then once I was happy with the coverage of that, I'm going to come back in with some yellows. But first, here's a little crystal glass that I got for 10 cents at a thrift store a while back. And I'm going to set this little bird on its nest in there. That was a project that I made for Easter springtime decor and to tie in the color of that yellow bird I'm using these yellow flowers from my stash. Just several different types of flowers. Yellow is not something that I had a lot of but I love the look of yellow and blue together and the ribbon that I'll be using has a bit of yellow and blue, but predominantly pink. So I'm not adding any more pink in there. I don't want to overpower it with that. I had some loose petals off the blue flowers and I just stuck them into the glass to bring that blue up and to fill in that clear spot. So now it's time to put the cage over my arrangement. Yeah. I'm even nervous for myself watching this, but it worked out really good. And I can still move the cage around by just picking up on the bottom of that tin. It used to be a drawer, but now it's just the bottom. Give everything a good fluffing, making sure you can see the florals that were going on in there. Next, here's the ribbon I was talking about. This was purchased at Dollar Tree around Easter time. And I want to have some tails hanging down on each side of the cage. So I'm only going to do two loops on the top. How I did that is just pulled everything together, pitched it up. See, I've got a little bit of that loop-de-loop -loop hanging down. And tied this second piece around it that I robbed off of one of my Easter projects. Just like that. 
I don't know what you would call this cut, an inverted dovetail, but I'm going to dovetail it just by putting the edges together and cutting up to the center. Same thing on those long tails. Cutting a deeper V on those to make more of a dovetail, if that's such, such a thing. So now, I'm ready to put the bow on. Let me tell you, I'm out of frame, but I will explain what's going on. I'm just taking one of the long tails, one of the short tails, and one of the loopties, and putting it on one side of that hanger that's on the top, while the others go on the other side. There you go. Now you can see it. I love how all these colors tied together. I think this is a super fabulous decor piece. Yes, very happy with how this all turned out. Now I had planned on upcycling this birdhouse as well for the collaboration, but it's now home for wasps, so I'm just going to let them keep it. Thank you to all who are participating, and everyone please enjoy the playlist for this collaboration. The playlist is in the descriptions of this video. Thank you so much for watching today. I appreciate you taking a few minutes of your day to support my channel. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this type of content.